Hello, hello, hello. Hi. What's up, man? What's up, brothers? Oh, you do that. I'm <laughs> oh, hello. Hi, how are you doing? It's too bad you can't just keep adding Epic families right here. <laughs> hey, Hello. Buddy. Oh. You're on a rolling cart there. Someone's <laughs> flexing already. What's up? Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up, brother? What's happening? Good, Good to see you. you. Good to see you. Oh. I knew you'd be driving around in your little one-wheeled creature here. Not much, bro. Not much. Okay. Flexing already? No, no. This is how I park. Hello. Hello. This is the exact table. Oh, perfect. So that's the exact table. See um, how it's not. Matter how much with the tires and the lift? How much? It's just the it's 47 is what they call it. Yeah, it's awesome. 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 Yeah, 6112, built Hello. <laughs> What's up, man? You've been busy. I have been busy. Uh, with this one, I'm running a five and a half inch lift, a custom lift, uh, mostly TerraFlex product and some Evo springs. Uh, 38 inch tires, uh, 13 and a half, 20s. Uh, just look proportionate. I like that style. Um, yeah, it's it's just a fantastic, fantastic truck. It's one of my favorite trucks I've ever had. Um, yeah. Are you happy? Like five, five and a half? You think it's enough? Perfect. 
I think for this, like again, most of the gladiators we build are the three and a half inch lifts yeah. from either Terraflex Evo or whatnot uh, on 37. So this I wanted something a little bit bigger. Um, I went with a 20 inch rim instead of the 17 inch rim. Okay. Um, I just think it proportionally looks better when you go this big and you go to that big of a tire. Yeah. Obviously having more sidewall and having you know, having a 38 on a 17 would be way, way better for comfort. Um, but the on-road handling of this is really well. I'm running Max's tires. All the Australians use them. Uh, this is my first row with them. So again, I've almost got 30,000 on them. I like the tires. Yeah, the 373s are just too low and especially running that. Um, again, the torque would make up for it. So I ran it, I think, for a couple of weeks like that before I'm like, no, I'm just going to re-gear it, might as well. Uh, so we went with four, five, six in there, and it's it's amazing. Like, it's a fantastic setup how, for what you have. How's Gladiator but, as an yeah. overlanding vehicle? Uh, it's very different. Like, again, I've done Wranglers for what, like, till 13 years I've had Wranglers with all the goose gear set up, similar to like this. Yeah. You know, and having that, and you know what that's like as well, mm -hmm. is having that is really cool just to be able to open, cook, you're ready to go. Yeah. Having a truck, it's obviously a bit different because now I'm back to boxes, you're back to carry things. Um, mm. Everything gets wet and dirty in the track, you know, in the back as well. Um, I've got the Goose Gear Reef seat delete, so this is a two-seater at the moment. So back there, I put all the clothes and things like that that you don't want to get wet. But in the bed, yeah, like with my swag and everything, it gets money, it gets wet. It's not a big deal. Um, I've done the open concept with two gladiators now with that half rack style, one with the tent on top, this one without. Um, I just ended up getting a smart cap canopy, so that's going on next week, just to enclose everything. And so we're going to do something a little different with that to really take things out of the elements. I'm going to do a nice red arc electrical setup and those kind of things as well. Um, yeah, so that's coming um, in a couple still weeks. Still some way to go, or almost? No, it's back. never, it's never done. <laughs> it's never done, man. It's never done. No, it's never done. Oh, I love the Eco Diesel. The Eco Diesel, I can't go back now. Once you have the Eco Diesel and all that torque. It's just amazing. Like just a driving on the road fully loaded, you're going up and down mountain passes. Yeah. It's not even breaking a sweat, um, yeah. which is great. Off-road is quite interesting. This summer, we ended up going quite high elevation. So we had quite a few switchbacks and steep road passes that we were doing. Um, and the things like doing 1200 RPM, just climbing like a goat, it's not even working. Just going straight up, like it's amazing. So just having the extra torque, it's yep. super well worth it. Um, so far, I'm at 32,000 kilometers. I don't. I haven't had a single check engine light. I've had trouble free. It's been 100% fine because um, people just worry about the eco diesel that way. This is the V3. Obviously, it's not the V2 that everybody complains about. Um, but yeah, so far it's been absolutely amazing. Um, I don't think I've really done a true regen yet because I haven't seen that symbol come up on the dash yep. um, to say that you've done a regen. But uh, I do a lot of highway driving. So yeah, so far it's been absolutely fantastic. I cannot complain. Single finger steer, you just drive, like it's awesome. Yeah. Thank you, Paul. No problem. Thank you for your time. You betcha. I ran into my friend Jerry. That's awesome. Tell, tell us about your rig. Right, so this is uh, my 2005 Toyota 4 Runner. It's a V8 Limited. Uh, this was actually my first foil drive. Uh, I guess back in the day, way before I even got into off-roading, I worked at Toyota and picked it up stock. Um, it's seen quite a few upgrades since then. I did wheel it stock for tw more than 12 months, and I beat the crap out of it. But um, you know, time came where stuff started to wear out, and um, I had to start replacing things. So bumper lift do? kit. Okay. Yeah, uh, so it's an ARB Deluxe Bar. Um, on the side, you can see actually this is a recent edition. So Arc One in Abbotsford, they did um, a custom set of sliders and side rails for us. Yeah. So those are bolt-on sliders. Oh. Um, so it's got a two-inch lift now for trains here. Nice. And the little reservoir with their upper control arms too. So those are an Australian, uh, almost exclusive oh, nice. to us. Steady lights, also Australian. Uh, so these are eight and a half inch Type X Pros. Uh, pretty much these ones are for the dis distance. And then we have a new light bar, the STX with SETI. Yeah. That's for flood. Uh, using the reflector uh, tack there. So I should just leave that off. Let people see. Warren XP, uh, 9.5 XP. It is steel. Um, so it's quite old school. I actually haven't even spooled it before, but this has got me through a lot. This is my first winch. Yeah. If I were to do it again, of course, we would do a synthetic line yeah. for safety and just the, the weight reduction. Oh, yeah. Coming around, uh, it's a VHF, UHF. So it's a uh, Comet antenna, and we have a Kenwood unit inside, V71A. 
Um, I'm just riding 31 and a half inch tires. I had 33s on it before, my yeah. terrains, and then we just came back down. I tend to drive this more on the road, but yeah. off-road capability is still very, very good. Hmm. Um, Safari Snorkel. For the V8s, this only came out a couple years ago, so I would say it's more of a recent addition. And uh, yeah, there's not much on the back. The inside's pretty much empty because we use this to move around a lot of tools and parts. So you, you delete, like a uh, second row delete um, type of idea? So, uh, no, it just folds down. Like, oh, like, okay. Uh, I have I a see. bunch of stuff in there now, too. Yeah, yeah. So, but yeah. It just folds down. Uh, Rhino Rack Pioneer platform, uh, using oh. the factory mounts. So we actually retain the factory roof rail and then we just use the Pioneer mount. It's a half yeah. rack. Pretty much it. I always have a set of max tracks and a lawn lawn handle shovel very very good when you're going off road oh, if you have one piece of recovery handle. gear you need make sure you have a shovel and long handle one 100 yeah, percent yeah it just makes a huge difference yeah. um so. so that's your company name right yeah overland let's, garage let's we're, talk about it a little bit yeah so we're quite new uh we started uh the shop in march of 2021 and uh you know march to april or sorry march to august was actually just me uh running the shop with a you know help from a few friends here and there um, so we're quite established now actually, uh, we're Monday to Friday uh, and we have a fully operational uh, mechanics and installation shop. So we do uh, not only uh, the modifications, but we, we can do maintenance and you know light, light repairs on the vehicle. Nice. So located in Burnaby on Regent Street, uh, Google Maps, uh, we're on uh, Facebook, Instagram, all that stuff. So if you uh, ever need a hand, any advice, come reach out to me. My name is Jerry and uh, yeah. Thanks awesome! For, uh, thank, thank you, you brother. Thanks so thank you, Jerry. So good to see you again. <laughs> good improv role. <laughs> All right. Thank you. All right. See you. See you later. Bye. Are you having fun yet? Doing good, buddy. If you haven't clicked the subscribe button, please click the like button. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, don't give it a thumbs up. Please leave a comment below. If you like this video, you can share it with your friends. Please leave a comment below. If you like this video, you can share it with your friends. Please leave a comment below. If you like this video, you can share it with your friends. Please leave a comment below. If you like this video, you can share it with your friends. Please leave a comment below. If you like this video, you can share it with your friends. 好吧，好吧，非常感谢大家的观看，我是白石木丸唐大树，我们下回再见喽，拜拜。